Dear Santa, you are a bitch ass nigga. Ho, 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 motherfuckers, who could be but me? Yeah, if you clicked on this video, you read it right. It does say fuck Santa Claus. And I'm probably just gonna sit here and break down the reason why Santa, the whole entire teaching your kids to believe in Santa Claus is just a bunch of bullshit. So, yo, let it go. I mean, yo, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've been a parent for about eight, nine years now. And at no time in my whole entire parenting have I ever mentioned Santa Claus. I never even brought it up. It never even dawned in my brain to bring up Santa Claus to my kids. My kids just grew up not believing in Santa Claus. And them not believing in Santa Claus has not hurt them. I, yo, right, real spit, I've never bought them Christmas tree, never bought no reindeers, um, never got brought no Santa Claus decorations, none of that shit. And my kids have grown up just fine. Yes, they are still excited for Christmas, but yo, they are could give a damn they could give two fucks less about Santa Claus. They know Santa Claus ain't real. They know Santa Claus is some made up motherfucking bullshit. And yo, shit, I really can't tell a difference between my kids and any other kids running out there. They still get excited for Christmas. They still get Christmas presents. So really, um what harm is there in not letting your child believe in Santa Claus? Like, really? Where is that harm? Why do parents look at another parent who does not teach their child about Santa, does not tell their child the lie of that Santa Claus is bringing them some stuff on December 25th and look at that parent as a bad parent. I mean, really, kind of ain't you the bad parent because you're sitting there, you're lying to your kid. You're sitting there, you're lying to your kid and having your child believe in somebody made up and fictional. And, and that, that doesn't strike y'all as odd. I mean, you are allowing a made-up, fictional, fat, magical person to take credit for stuff that you do and bust your tail for 365 days out the year. And really, when you think about it, it's like you have a problem with your kids believing in heaven. You have a problem with your kids believing in hell. You have problems believing that the Son of God is a person of color. But it's okay for them to bring believe in a fat, magical white man that flies around the whole entire world delivering kid presents to all the kids over the world. All kids over the world. No matter what color they are. But but my savior has to look like Jesus off of Walking Dead. So that's where that's how we do this is how we do it now. Like it's it's okay for a fat magical white man to deliver presents and believe in that, but the savior cannot be a person of color. It has to look like Jesus off the walking. Yeah, y'all can y'all see where y'all missing me with the BS? And real spit, and let's like really double down on this thing. My other main thing about this whole entire Santa Claus thing is being that I am a black father, and yes, I'm gonna say this, and I don't care who I offend with. Being that I'm a black father, I feel like my position as a black father and black fathers throughout the whole entire United States of America, our position is in constant jeopardy. They are trying to marginalize us enough through the use of child support, Section 8, EBT, you know, all gifts from the white man anyway. I really don't feel like I, on top of all of that, I should really have to compete with a magical white man on December 25th. I'm sorry, just don't feel like that's some shit I should really have to compete with. When I'm already, when they're already trying to marginalize us out and move us out of our child's lives, anyway, you don't believe me? Take a look around and you'll see it for yourself. Just be honest. Like, yo, honestly, real spit, yo. To all single mothers out there who sit there and allow their kids to believe in Santa Claus, but don't want to let them believe in their fathers, yo, you looking for your child support check? Yo, holla at old Saint Nick. He probably got that shit right now. Since you want to allow your kid to believe in Santa. Yeah, you need to believe that Santa's going to leave that child support check in your stocking this year. I'm just saying. Honestly, yo, at the end of the day, your kids only believe what you teach them to believe. So if you want to teach your kids that, yo, Santa Claus is real and, yo, have them feed into the mass lot, yo, that's cool. Yo, just don't judge no other parent when they decide to teach their kids the truth. Peace.